All right. Didn't get a chance to talk about Teofimo Lopez victory over Richard Comey. Okay. But now that he has pulled out the victory, we got to talk about some things, you know, as people know, I have several series on my channel. One of them being the fight film study series. Uh, the other one being, um, the duck chronicles. Um, um, one of them being, um, the dark side of boxing. And it was another series that I started called, um, the rising glove series. And the idea behind the series was to track a prospect boxer through their career to see if they could actually rise to fame in the process. I just thought it was a cool and an interesting and a clever way to kind of almost kind of foresee somebody's future and choose to start the series with them because you believe that they're going to be something. And the person that I choose to start that series with was actually Teofimo Lopez. I'm going to leave the link down in the description box so you guys can go watch that um, just in case you have never seen it. And I choose, I chose to start my series with Teofimo Lopez because when I looked at Teofimo Lopez, I just seen something in this cat that I haven't seen in the current crop of young fighters out there. You know, I, I, I truly believe that this guy was special and his skill set. Like I seen what, you know what I'm saying? His father was talking about and this, you know, I thought his father was just another, uh, Angel Garcia, cokehead, maybe crazy running off at the mouth, just does that to help sell the fights or whatever. But no, nah, he was dead serious. And I told people this kid was the truth, man. I told, I was like, this kid is the one I said, you know what, with a style like his, I would love to see him fight Vasily Lomachenko. People cuss me out for it too. You know what I'm saying? They're like, man, what are you talking about, man? He doesn't deserve anything. You don't know anything about boxing. It's crazy for you to think. And look where we at right now. In April, Teofimo Lopez, uh, Vasily Lomachenko. I told people in the beginning, this is the fight right here. Stylistically, th these these two guys are meant to dance. It'll be great for both their careers. It'll be, but you know, um, Lomachenko fanboys did not like that. You know what I'm saying? The fans didn't have no problem with it, but the fanboys had a huge problem with that. And I was like, and I'm like, why y'all give me such a hard time? And just because Teofimo Lopez was challenging uh, Vasily Lomachenko, they was starting to crap on him. You, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like the same things that some people are trying to do to a Shakur Stevenson and a Devin Haney now. Like these guys are just starting off in their careers because they choose to challenge somebody who is one of your favorite fighters. That's no reason to try to trash prospects. These guys are just starting out and, all, and already people are making videos talking about Devin Haney fights bum. Shakur Stevenson is a bum slayer. Now, like these dudes are just now starting out in boxing. But, you know, that's that childish shit that I be saying about boxing that I really don't like, man. But now that Teofimo Lopez has beat and stretched out Richard Comey, we got to ask some serious questions. You know what I'm saying? And one of the very first questions that ended up on my mind is simply this. If Teofimo Lopez beats Vasily Lomachenko, where do we place him in the pound for pound conversation? That's one thing that I found very interesting. Let's just entertain it for a minute. If he beats him, if he beats Lomachenko, where do we put him? Because honestly, I, I don't even know. I know one thing. If you beat a pound for pound fighter, you deserve to be on a pound for pound list. Now, I never view Vasily Lomachenko as number one, a pound for pound fighter. But the interesting thing is for those people who do view Vasily Lomachenko as number one pound for pound, if Teofimo Lopez beats Vasily Lomachenko, are you prepared to say that uh, Teofimo Lopez is the number one pound for pound fighter in the world? I bet you're not. That's the interesting thing. Like, I bet you're not. I bet you if he beats Vasily Lomachenko, you guys still would not call him the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. And I wouldn't either. Don't get me wrong. You, you know what I'm saying? You already know who I think is pound for pound number one. That's Terrence Bud Crawford. If you're not going to include Canelo Alvarez, but I've already made videos on that. But that's an interesting conversation. Where do we put him? Is he right up under Bud? Is he too below Bud? You, you know what I'm saying? I mean, uh, is he below Spence or above Spence? Do you put Alexander Uzik over Teofimo Lopez or do you put Teofimo Lopez over Alexander Uzik? Um, what about, um, 
Inoya. Like where? All right. So so now where does he go? Like I said, it's an interesting conversation, and I would love to see what people think about that. So that's one of the things I want to see addressed in the comment section. Where would you place him? You know what I'm saying? And where does he rightfully deserve to be placed? If he if you saying this guy's number one pound for pound, and he beats number one pound for pound, it's only right you put him at number one pound for pound. Even though I wouldn't do it. It seems like the right thing to do. But once again, that's just one of those conversations that we're going to have. The other thing that we have to talk about is if Lopez beats Vasily Lomachenko, do we realize that there is no undisputed for uh, Teofimo? And how fair is that? And this is the problem with what uh, Mauricio Suleiman has done to the game. But I'm not just going to put on Mauricio Suleiman. I'm going to put it. I'm going to say Mauricio Suleiman team of. Uh, Team Lomachenko and Lomachenko himself have messed up the game, you know, because the interesting thing is this. How could you claim somebody can be undisputed when they clearly gave up their belt? But if they beat, if Vasily Lomachenko beats Teofimo Lopez, he could be undisputed. But if Lopez beats Vasily Lomachenko, he still has to go fight Devin Haney to be undisputed. Like, do you know ultimately what that's saying? That, that that really means that there was never no such thing as Vasily Lomachenko still having the status of having the belt that uh, Devin Haney has if if uh, Teofimo Lopez cannot beat um, Vasily Lomachenko and be considered, uh, you know, the number one pound for pound guy. You know what I'm saying? How is that possible? So Lomachenko can gain something, but he can't lose anything. You know, and being the fact that he didn't lose his belt originally, he gave his belt away. So he didn't lose it due to a fighter. So how come Teofimo Lopez can't fight Vasily Lomachenko and still be undisputed? You know, and and that's where it becomes a mess because whether you want to say Mauricio Suleiman, Lomachenko, Anatoly Lomachenko, something I like, you gotta, you, you gotta put it on all of them because at the end of the day, this is what it looks like. Now, please pay attention to what I'm saying. And by just hearing what I'm saying, it reveals itself. Okay. In one instance, somebody asks you for a fight and you tell them to go get a belt. Okay. Then another opponent asks you for a fight and you give away a belt. Do you see how both those actions cancel out each other and how they're in direct contradiction? Meaning, if you turn Teofimo Lopez down because he did not have a belt, you, you know, and you told him to go get a belt, then what do you look like acting like you can afford to give away a belt when belts seem to be the main key importance, which is why you're asking him to go get one. But yet when you get challenged by another fighter, you give away one. So one guy asks you for a fight, go get a belt. Another guy asks you for, for a fight, you give away a belt. There's logically, there's no way that you can justify that, you know, because it's unjustifiable. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And, which makes matters worse is, like, I noticed that Vasily Lomachenko would be critical of Canelo's resume, and he 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 kind of tried to shit on um, Teofimo Lopez's victory. He said, "Yeah, he did a good job, but once again, it depends on who you fighting." And then he said, "Yeah, Canelo's doing a good job, but he's picking guys at the right time, and he's this and that." And you know what? I kind of didn't like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I don't see why you're doing that to these guys. You, you you know what I'm saying? Like, these guys is doing legit shit, and you're still trying to take it away. That's the same thing people are doing to you. You're doing legit shit, and people trying to take it away. But, you know, the upside to the whole thing, and I'm doing this in favor of the Vasily Lomachenko uh, fanboys, the upside that you guys can get from this, and the reason why I don't understand you, is you guys should want this fight because it's going to put a lot of shit to rest. Because in all actuality, even though they, they're going to try, but let's be real. In all actuality, if Lomachenko goes in there 
and smokes Teofimo Lopez or beat Teofimo Lopez, there ain't shit else that you can say about um, Vasily Lomachenko no more. You know what I'm saying? It can't be questioned. It can't be this and can't be that. It can't be none of that. Nobody's going to be able to say shit about him anymore. Period. You know what I'm saying? Just like my boy, my boy, Tony Harrison lost. I had to eat that. You know what I'm saying? Lord knows I didn't want to give up no props to no um, Jamel Charlo, but he won. He deserved it. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I'll be one of the first people to stop people in his tracks when they get to talk about his resume. I'm like, hold on. He does have a high quality opponent in um, Tony Harrison. So it'll be the same thing. And especially with me, you know what I'm saying? All I ever wanted to know was Vasily Lomachenko, even half of what people tried to make him out to be. I want to see it. I don't want to hear about it. I want to see it. You you shouldn't be mad or try to crucify somebody because they want to see the talent that you claim is like no other. You know what I'm saying? Like you, like you can't get mad at somebody for that. I want to see it. But after this fight, can't. Dude, nobody's going to be able to say shit about Lomachenko. Matter of fact, I'm going to make sure of it personally. You know what I'm saying? I'll be the first one to go on his defense for anything. You know what I'm saying? I, I was already defending when people was calling him a hype job. But, you know, um, certain people ignore those videos and just cling on to the bad things that I say or when I'm criticizing or something like that. But they, they, they never say anything about the videos that, that I make clarifying what's going on with Lomachenko, how he's being unfairly judged, how it's not his fault, and this, isn't that. They skip over all the videos and skip to a video where I said, oh, if it's silly, Lomachenko don't have power or something like that. You know what I'm saying? They might as well take it as, like I say, he was a garbage fighter, didn't belong nowhere in the boxing league and all that other stuff. I mean, that's might as well what they should have took it like. But after this, nobody's going to be able to say anything. And, you know, one, you know what I'm saying? One person's got to laugh and one person's got to cry. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I'm going to stick by what I uh, uh, said in the beginning. Teofimo Lopez beats Vasily Lomachenko. You know what I'm saying? If you don't think Teofimo Lopez beats Vasily Lomachenko, ain't nothing wrong with that either. But the point is, don't you want to see? I want to be able to prove you wrong. Don't you want to be able to prove me wrong? I want to come back and laugh in your face. If, if I lose, you're more than happy to come back and laugh in my face. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm just being honest with y'all. Like, I, like I have no problem because at at the end, I'm a, uh, let me. When you look at the Jamel Charlo Tony Harrison fight, with a fight like that, at the end of the day, who who is a loser? Nobody, man. Come on, man. That fight was entertaining if it just wasn't if it wasn't just from the press conference alone. You know what I'm saying? So, but but after that. Um, nobody's going to be able to say anything and both sides should be for that. I'm going to cut this little video short because it's already longer than what I want it to be. There's more topics that I wanted to touch on, but I'll just do it in a part two of this video. But in the meantime, let's address uh, the few things that we have brought up about, you know, his uh, his pound for pound status. Where do you put him? about the whole undisputed thing. It's just all the stuff that we addressed in this video. And then that'll I'll base that off the next video that I make based on what I read in the comment section and what majority of people agree with. But in the meantime, in between time till next time, Bruce Vane, I'm out.